All right, I'm going to do a test today um, on the dreaded Wi-Fi, grayed out Wi-Fi on a iPhone 6 Plus post touch IC repair. This is the dreaded gray Wi-Fi. Is it going to come back? Is it not going to come back? I think I've found the reason why the, the Wi-Fi grays out. And uh, I don't I haven't confirmed it yet. It's just a suspicion. But I'm going to try to confirm it with this video, all right? So, here we are. I have an iPhone 6 Plus here. This is my 6 Plus, and uh, it's just a test phone of mine. And let me pause this so that you guys don't have to watch this Apple logo. All right, it's booted up now. I just want to show you guys that it is, that the Wi-Fi is indeed working fine on it before I start this. Okay, so... So Wi-Fi is working fine, okay? No problems, all right? Okay. Okay, so this component right here is C5201 underscore RF. This one is L5201 underscore RF. Now let's go to ZXW tools. And so this is a four pronged WLAN. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I know that this connects to the Wi Fi. And this is pretty much the only component that's close to the Mason area that connects to the Wi Fi chip. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do first I'm going to remove C5201RF, and we will see. I'll show you. All right. So let's go ahead and remove it real quick. You guys didn't see it. That's why I don't use this uh, dual mode anymore because I always forget to change the screen back. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this capacitor right here, okay? So I'm going to remove this puppy. Now let's boot this mother back up. Yeah, let's just tin this real quick while it's hot. Right, that's good. I'm not even gonna clean the flux off. So let's put this puppy back in and test it. See if Wi-Fi works. All right. So I've installed it, set it back up. Let's go to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is grayed out. All right. No capacitor. Wi-Fi is grayed out. All right. Grayed out Wi-Fi. No capacitor. Right. Generally, you're thinking, oh, no capacitor. That shouldn't affect anything because it just it uh, smooths out voltages, right? Well, uh, I don't I don't know what this capacitor does, but it uh, grays out the Wi-Fi, all right, for certain, all right, proven. Okay, so the question now is, how am I going to test it, right? How am I going to make sure that uh, you know it is this capacitor right here that's causing all the problems, the Wi-Fi problems post Touch IC repair? Well, it it honestly it would make sense. It would make sense. In the fact that uh, you know when capacitors get heated up, they uh, lose their capacitance, um, you know, at a certain temperature. But they eventually come back when once the capacitor cools down enough. 
Um, so how am I going to test it, right? I mean, it is possible that it, it is also this filter right here, you know, but the filter is easy to test. All you got to do is, uh, all right, I'm going to show you guys. All right, so in order to test the inductor, right, which is this right here, just look at the rating of it. It says 2.2 .2 micro Henry, 20%. 0 0.3 amps, 0 0.38 ohms. Okay, so if you put your multimeter in resistance mode, okay, resistance mode, right? Just put your multimeter across the inductor, right? And look for roughly. In my experience, it's generally more than 0.38 ohms, but, uh, you know, just look for that 20% uh, tolerance, you know. Um, so this one's showing 0.5 ohms. That's the resistance across it, and generally, and then you can also go to continuity mode, or diode mode, whatever you prefer, and just check for continuity across the, um, across the diode. You know, to cut some out, because my crazy dog was barking. Anyways, um, so put your... Multimeter across the do the inductor and uh, check for continuity. That's number one. Number two is you can check for resistance because sometimes there's continuity but the resistance is high. Right. So this is 0 0.52, 0 0.5, 0 0.38 is the rated, you know, 20% tolerance. Uh, it's, it's pretty close to within that range. It's fine enough for me. It's, it's not going to cause any problems. All right. Um, so here's what I'm going to do in order to test the capacitor. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I know this capacitor works because Wi-Fi was working before I started. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to heat this mother. And if I were really uh, diligent, I would um, tie some leads to the capacitor and uh, hook up some multimeter and heat it and wait for it to beep. And that way I'll know how hot it gets. <laughs> But I'm not going to do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat this capacitor right here until it either burns up or it gets really hot, and we will go from there. All right. So I'm going to. So. Hopefully I don't tear this thing up. Oh, that flew it away. Hold on a second, I lost it now. Really don't want to lose it. It flew far away. There it is. So let's just measure the capacitance across it real quick. All right. Kind of hard to measure this thing because it always. So the middle is ground, and then there's two ends, which are two two capacitor. Which I'll get two capacitance values. And I believe I don't know what the rating is. So right now I'm getting point. So 8.4 microfarads is what I'm getting on one end. And this side is 8.4 microfarads as well. Okay. My guess is that it's probably a 10. Let's double check. 7.5. Okay. So let's just heat it up a little bit and, and let's see what happens. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it now and make sure I don't jack up too much. I'm gonna end up burning this damn thing. Let's test it again. That's some good heat right there. Uh, let's test it again.
Now it's at 7.7 .7 microfarads. And this one's 8.8 .8 microfarads. All right, still within specs. Let me see if I can take it out of specs somehow. I'm going to put a little flux on it. That way you guys can kind of see that the heat's getting to it. I'm pretty much cooking this damn thing. Uh oh. Okay. All right, let's check it again. Yeah, I got some good heat on it. It's like turning black. Eight point three microfarads. Eight point three microfarads. All right, you know what? Let's just go with it. See if see if it see what it goes. See what happens now. All right. Let's. Uh, as you can see, it's like pretty much burnt to crisp now. So. I mean, maybe it's not the capacitor. Maybe it's the coil. Who knows? Or maybe it's the inductor. You know, it gets heated up. It's possible. Right. I think that's pretty good now, but I'll just touch it up with my iron real quick. Hopefully I didn't jack up my mason. Oh, oh. Let's see, nope, that should be good because I think I had an L1 jumper run too. All right, hopefully I didn't mess up my touch here. Anyways, um, okay, so this is the end result of my work here. All right, I should probably clean it up a little bit. Okay, let's see if it works. For you know what, I probably shouldn't have cooled it down. All right, let's see if it works. All right, it's going. All right, so touch still works. That's good. Wi-Fi is back in business. So the Wi-Fi works, but uh, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the multi um, bars because the antenna is actually hooked up. So, anyways, as you can see, it works now. Um, let's see. So maybe it's the inductor. Maybe you know it's going to be one of those two. Is my guess that gets heat heated up and and then it starts working again. So. If you're having problems with Wi-Fi, um, post-touch IC repair, my guess is that maybe you have a cold joint under the capacitor, or and then you can also check voltages probably. You know what? Let's check voltages right now. Let's see what kind of voltages we get. Oh, can't check it, actually. 
I gotta do it on the other side. Um, yeah, that's not check voltages. You can probably figure it out. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna do any more uh, testing on this thing. Um, I'm just gonna assume that it is either that uh, filter or the capacitor uh, that's causing these gray Wi-Fi problems post touch IC repair that come back to life. It's, I'm not sure if it's the filter or the capacitor. Probably one of them. I guess it's the capacitor, but uh, who knows? All right, it's it.